In a world where robotics transcends nature, the line between myth and machine dissolves completely. Today's engineers didn't stop at pangolins or lampreys. They've engineered a racehorse simulator that mimics a jockey's heartbeat, built a robotic deer that outsmarts poachers with candy, and even conjured a 14-meter minotaur that breathes fire. From AI-powered humanoids serving drinks to spider bots assembling cars, this isn't just evolution, it's revolution. Welcome to the era where fantasy becomes factory ready. Ready to rewrite reality? During the Shanghai Auto Show 2025, together with many other innovations and technologies, the latest humanoid robot iron manufactured by the enterprise, Xpeng attracted the most attention. This robot did not only represent the innovative spirit of Xpeng, but it also demonstrated how human-machine interaction will be in the future. Iron is a humanoid robot with the height of 178 centimeter and the weight of 70 kilogram that was constructed by Xpeng with the aim to be included in multiple spheres of life. It has a 62 active degrees of freedom and has the capability to make complex movements such as walking, gesturing and interacting with its surrounding. It applies eagle eye vision system and deep learning algorithms, which enable the robot to have independence and flexibility under various circumstances. Iron appeared on the auto show and marked itself as a robot model that appears alongside Xpeng CEO, He Xiaopeng, to demonstrate the company competencies in artificial intelligence development and robotics. The robot played a greeter role, made gestures, and it even managed to participate in demonstrating new models of Xpeng cars such as P7 Plus and X9. Iron has already started conducting trials at the production lines of Xpeng, which is helping it to assemble the car parts. The ball balancing robot is an unusual machine invented by an engineer of the YouTube channel called Koshiro Robot Creator and consists of a platform offering independent movement and maintaining a balance of a ball on its platform at a high level of precision and dynamism stability. The robot is a sheeted base wound with three servo motors which manages the tilt of the robot towards various directions. This will enable it to push the ball in some given direction of trajectory without slipping. The control system is dependent on inverse kinematics algorithm which calculates angles accurately when tilting the ball to a required Required location. It is stabilized with a proportional integral derivative controller allowing smooth and fine adaptation of the position of the ball. Also, the robot will contain a camera and a computer vision system, which will allow them to follow the position of the ball in real time. This project is a model of the beauty of control theory to real robotics problems. Balancing the ball robot. These robots can be used as a great student project to demonstrate the concept of dynamics, control systems, and computer vision. It is able to balance while performing complicated motions of the ball, and this demonstrates the accuracy that may be accomplished at with the use of new servo motors and control schemes. The huge robots created by La Machine resemble mythologies in action. They have traveled the world, Japan to Argentina, performed in an epic outdoor event in the streets of Toulouse, France, and even starred in a kung fu film. It is a 14-meter minotaur, one of the most remarkable achievements. There is a crew of 17 operators necessary to transport this 4.5-ton beast. The machine is half mechanical and half run on an internal combustion engine. And not only it moves, but it breathes. However, it is only one of things that La Machine creates. There is also an 18-meter spider, and there is Longma, the dragon horse that is dispatched to rescue mankind. Robots of that kind start blurring the border between myth and reality. The artistic vision in La Machine enhances the involvement of the audiences in huge and mechanical animals within public spaces that are considered to be theatres of wonder. These jaw-dropping works are the combinations of classical strings puppetry, the latest technology of robots, and theatre scripts on a new level. The efforts of the company to make immersive appears have reconceptualized the very definition of street theatre as whole city centres have been transformed into performance spaces to hold their mechanical musicians. All the robots are finely crafted in order to distill the spirit of their mythological namesake and combine such systems as complex hydraulics and mechanics that enable them to move in surprisingly lifelike ways.
This adorable mini robot was modeled after pangolins and it is a project based on an excellent natural robotics competition submission. Guess who made it? One of the students at a high school in California named Dorothy. She describes that pangolins dig so much that she conceived that a robot gardener patterned after a pangolin would be a perfect fit. The robot beings with its paws digging small holes on the ground, after which it inserts a mixture of seeds and soil, and it is really cute. The plantolin is an inspirational endeavor of biomimicry in robotics, where nature provided the solution to the problem that technology should identify the solution to with inspiration. Dorothy twists the natural digging traits of the pangolins to suit field farming in her own pretty brilliant way, showing how even the young generation of innovators can make a change in offering real solutions to environmental problems. In small-scale farming and in the reforestation of previously clear colour areas, the autonomous planting of plants by the robot could become a breakthrough. It may be used in places where a human person cannot easily and safely plant anything by hand. Its design is compact and efficient, which makes it fit on different terrains, such as community gardens and larger agricultural enterprises. The success and values of this project is a shout to STEM education and robotics competitions as a means of educating the next generation of engineers and problem solvers in regard to the environment. The Racewood Mark 10 is the high-tech racehorse simulator ever. It is manufactured by Racewood and has pressure sensors in the saddle, the reins and even the whip. There are new neck sensors which monitor the movement of the rider very closely. Its trot also matches exactly with the rhythm of jockey. Thus, it is effective not only to improve the current skills, but also to learn the correct methods of riding it on a ground from the scratch. The physiological data can also be traced by the rider with the help of built-in ant plus support together with the heart rate monitor. The simulator is never tired and acts up and it can give feedback in real time in the form of detailed visual feedback that indicates a balance, leg movement, and other important parameters. It will have all this high-tech realism at a price of about $55,000. This developed training device has made important progress in the development of technology in equestrian sports, as it features the possibility of riders to train and master their skills in a much controlled atmosphere without the randomness of training using live horses. The advantages of the simulator provide stable and quantifiable results that make it invaluable as a tool that professional jockeys and trainers will use to understand and evaluate weak points within driving skills. With applicability in training novices in the sport, as well as keeping those who have mastered the sport through the tops during the off-seasons, the Mark 10 shows the possible ways in which technology can augment the conventional techniques of training in sports. Leaves rustle quietly, a deer silhouette flickers in the distance. Poachers aim and they are not aware that they are being hunted. The deer itself is a robot decoys, which assist in capturing the illegal hunters. These decoys that even include foxes, bears and other animals are put at a place where some suspicious activities have been reported. They are remotely operated in disguised places. Among the weirdest one is a robotic deer which dispenses M&M rather than feces. It may sound like a goofy trick, but it may be effective to confuse and delay the poachers long enough that they will get caught red-handed. Such new law enforcement tools have been highly successful in wildlife conservation in the whole of North America. Game wardens state that these robotic animals full of realistic movements and behaviours programmed in them effectively deceive even professional hunters, resulting in several arrests and convictions. The decoys are mostly used in closed seasons or where there are no hunting grounds. Once poachers blast the rounds at these mechanical animals, the police officers who are concealed close to them can completely arrest them with a clear record that they were involved in the activity of unlawful hunting. The technology is still under development and newer models additionally include more natural movements, heat signature and even scent dispenser to make them appear even more realistic. Previously, Hexa had been advertised as the first mass-market, next-generation programmable robot. However, it is not just the marketing slogan that makes it really interesting. For one, this six-legged spider robots fit in a backpack. It even operates under its proprietary operating system named Mind which is constructed on a Linux platform, but is made only to work with robots. With the help of this platform, 
people may quickly share their own projects and find others through a special app store. Hexa is also a real-time learner that works with the information it gets via its camera and other sensors installed. But it has got its snag. Since the launch, the robot price has greatly hiked. Returning to Kickstarter, the first versions were priced at $500, whereas nowadays it is common to encounter almost a tenfold higher price in all the available online offers. Hexa is an intriguing manifestation of consumer robotics at its best, even at the higher price. Being modular and featuring open programming platform, it helps make a good learning tool of teaching robotics and AI programming to someone learning it. The six-legged platform will ensure utmost stability and maneuverability, enabling it to negotiate complex terrain which a wheeled bot would have a hard time doing. The community which has blossomed out of Hexa also produces innovative applications, both of entertainment and home security. Another versatile structure having scientific significance is Agnathax. This robot is based on a lamprey so that researchers could be a step closer to finding the answer to one of the most important questions. How it is possible that some vertebrates can continue moving despite the damage of spinal cord? Under Agnathax monitors, the scientists got closer and studied better how the central and the peripheral nervous system combine in giving movement. It so happens that part of compensation of spinal injuries comes with this teamwork. In the case of robotics, this understanding implies that it may be possible to implement both of these systems into providing machines with a greater degree of resilience given that even incomplete sensor-based input may be sufficient to ensure that a robot retains a steady momentum. Of equal importance to the research in robotics, implications of this range to the studying of new methods of treating spinal cord injuries on humans. The undulating mechanism of swimming the Agnathax possesses a series of interconnected segments that recreates the unusual locomotion process of the lamprey. Such a biomimetic technique has found some startling redundancies in neural control systems that evolution has evolved during millions of years. Years. The design of used by the robot is flexible and composed of distributed control mechanisms which resemble biological neural networks. Investigators have applied Agnathax to a number of scenarios of disrupting neural pathways. Dino Robotics, an American corporation, has produced a robot that will take over the employment of humans in most of the sectors due to its fast level and accuracy. An intelligent system, Dino One, is a robot that consists of two manipulators and is aimed at automating the work in warehouse logistics, manufacturing, and service industries. With a rather advanced system of stickers and sensors, Dino One is able to complete tasks in detail just like human hands in a neatly folded napkin, filling glasses, sorting and separating objects, and manipulating demanding packaging works. In one of the tests, the robot did not stop working after 24 hours and had to fold over 850 napkins with 99.4% accuracy per one operator intervention. This proves that it is applicable in 24-hour applications and it is also applicable in some activities that used to be done by human beings. The industries that are experiencing a shortage of labor will have major implications because Dino One can produce a steady quality and productivity without burning out. With superior computer vision capabilities, it is able to respond to the changes in the positions and the orientations of the objects, which makes it highly flexible to have numerous uses. The affordability aspect of the robot is that it is energy efficient and requires little or no maintenance costs to business owners who want to replace their repetitive jobs with a robot. 